Hi everyone, you alright? We're sat on uh, Tesco car park again. My mum's just nipped, nipped out to, well, get some lolly. And uh, yeah, on a, well, overcast day today. How are you lot? Okay, I hope. Last night, well, it started, it started, and started. We had loads and loads and loads and loads of fireworks going off. I was going to record it, but my mum came in and uh, we were having a chat, so about today and tomorrow. Yeah. I'm just waiting now to see see what happens today. I just hope everybody out there is all right. Big massive shout out to Secret Blackburn. I uh, love the I love the video the other day. It was pretty good, pretty good indeed. Um, I'm just waiting to see to see what's going to happen. Um, with this new Prime Minister and Chancellor. And the silly bug has rehired, rehired the uh, hot controversial Home Secretary. Yeah. We'll just have to wait and see. We'll just have to wait and see what happens today. Um. Yeah. I missed. I allegedly to uh, yeah yesterday. I'm just gonna have to wait to see what he's what he put puts up today. Um, I know I saw his post, but uh, Dan's post and the economic ninja was putting up uh, a lot of stuff. And uh, yeah. My head's itching you know, up, I haven't got biddies. So we went to Iceland on Tuesday. We didn't do much yesterday neither. Um we were we were going to go to B and M but uh, that got scrapped by the wayside. And, uh, yeah. In the next few days, I'm going to have to go and look for a dentist once again. And, uh, yeah. Because my top, one of my top teeth's broken. Yeah, a big massive lump of it came off. I mean, it was a really big piece, really big piece, and uh, yeah, all top end, all top end come out, filling came out, the filling came out, all the, all the back of it. Majority of the back of it had come out, so so there's only about three quarters of it left. So I'll just have to wait and see what I'm going to do about that. And my wisdom tooth snapped. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Yeah. So, I'm just waiting now for my mum, and I'm just waiting to see if I get called in. Um, by the by, the Department of Work and Pensions. See if uh, see what you know. See what they're gonna do. 
Because what the ha- what the thing is, they're trying to get us into jobs. But I remember the last time that happened. Uh, yeah, I was sent. I was sent to a placement by an incompetent DEA. She was called Elsie Edwards. Um, yeah, a lot of the a lot of the DEAs that I've had so far uh, were basically incompetent um, because when I went. Um, they they hadn't checked the premises if it was suitable for myself and the disability service at the time you know they were very incompetent and this sent me to another place I think it was pyramid pyramid recruitment and uh, they turned around and said well what are we supposed to do with you I says do a CV and all that sort of stuff and they just turned around and looked at me and said I said have you got Jaws have you got Supernovas there's just such just just sat there looking at them, looking at each other. And said, "We can't do anything for you, mate." You know. You know. Sometimes it goes to show how incompetent the DEAs actually are. You know, and they don't. They don't go out to. Uh, check these places out and to make sure that they've got the right equipment and etc etc et and they turn around, they turn around and expect the empl- these employers to have equipment there uh, when they uh, n- openly know that the companies that they're sending clients to do not have the equipment or or um, how can I put it they don't have the uh, expertise in dealing with such a person with such a person you know Um, the places that they send them to you know are these are these uh, placements basically inspected for for the clients to come in a majority of the time and the answer to that is no um, a lot of the DA, DEAs are so, I must say are totally incompetent and uh in when they got well majority of the time they're sat behind a desk all day and they're not really um you know doing the job properly you know and it's going to get worse very soon because that's a nice BMW. Who is it? Is it a BMW? I'll look in the film later. I'll go through the get my mum to go through the film later. Uh, yeah. So, you know, and these work coaches, these work coaches, they've no idea. Uh, what 
the problems are problems are with, with some of these workplaces you know some people like you've got to have reasonable adjustments one guy one employer I went to, to an in, interview for um, I went in and and sat there, had the interview and everything. He thought a reasonable adjustment was a t disabled toilet. That was it, you know. That's what he thought, that a reasonable adjustment was a disabled toilet which was required by code with it, because of it being a new building. Yeah. And I just turned around, and after, you know, after I had the interview and everything, I went downstairs and bust out laughing. And, uh, you know, some employers just do not get it. And, you know, DEAs are, are the same. This... They try and uh, get you to take, you know, to take these crappy, crappy placements, and you don't get anything for it, you know. Um, which I think you should be. You should, if you take up a placement, if you take up a placement, a training placement, you should get an allowance for it. On top of your money that you're ex existingly getting, you know. So it's pretty, pretty bad. The situation for disabled people, really. Um. Yeah, and she knew I had carpal tunnel in both hands. So. I had carpal tunnel in both hands, can't type at all. And uh, the training that that was, you know, required, well, was never given. It's turned out pretty nice at the moment. And just, it's meant to, meant to be showery today. I don't know where we're going after this, but uh, we'll soon find out anyway. And I just hope you lot are all right. We might be going to Lidl's in a bit. Yeah. We'll see. We went to Lidl's yesterday. But this is a different Lidl's. We usually go to the one on uh, King Street. But we might go to the one here today on Accrington Road. Someone parking up at side us. She saw saw me with the phone out and she decided to move. I'll go and party somewhere else. Yeah. You do get a lot of people like that. Well, I'm gonna bugger off now. And uh yeah, we'll see how it goes for the rest of the day. So it's three, two, one, click.